Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode 132, uh, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm your host, Anton. And as many people may realize, uh, we often have a special guest, uh, Hayden, joining us. Um, Hayden's not able to meet with us as frequently these days. Uh, so we've brought on a new co-host. I'd like to welcome Marwa Shishin. Marwa, welcome as my co-host. Thank you, Anton. I'm happy to be here. And thank you all for joining us today. Ah, and Marwa, um, I don't know if you're one of our one or two um, uh, actual uh, subscribers, but have you seen the show before? Yes, of course. And I like it so much. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so today we have a topic that is really dear to me. People at, uh, at Insum hear me rant on about this all the time, but it's about the distinction between authentication and authorization. I often say auth n and auth z or auth z. So authentication auth n, auth authorization auth z. Um, <clears throat> I have a bit of a cough. Marwat, can you give us a, an explanation of what those two things mean to you? Okay, I think uh, auth n is like establishing who you are as um, a user, and authorization is more about establishing what you can do the application exactly that's i i love that def definition except um i'm going to expand it just the tiniest bit, bit because you said what you can do in the application and i'm going to say i think we often forget about all said as can you use the application at all um and i'm going to give this example uh so i run uh I, i'm the coach of the the track team and our i've shown this application before i'll show it right now um we um we, anybody should be able to access this application that is part of Hingham Schools. So the hinghamschools.org uh, domain and me, but only those, those groups. So anybody at hinghamschools.org or anybody with the username a. Nielsen at, or Anton at, at inielsen.net. All of those use Google for authentication. So this application uses Google authentication. Um, if, I, if I log out uh, and I log back in, you can see I'm going to be using Google Authenticator, um, but I want Anton at inielsen.net to work, but I don't want Anton at conceptcompletion.net to work. So right now, they both work. I can use the application. So the distinction as you defined it, authentication, I am Anton at conceptcompletion.com, but I'm not authorized. Yes, I yes. think. This can, could be a, as a, an authentication scheme, but also it's, I think it's more of a question of authorization. Great. So let's kick off the timer. How do we, how do we handle it as an authorization scheme that only I, only the right people can, can use the application? Yes, we can, we can, uh, we can go to the shared component of the application. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and sign out before we get going on this. So I'm going to go to shared components. And then in security authorization schemes. Authorization schemes. So that's, we're not even going to look at authentication, straight to authorization. Okay. Right. And I've already created this application offset. And it does exactly what we've been talking about. It checks to see if the user is anielsen.net or anton at inielsen.net or hinghamschools.org. So we have this authorization scheme. What do we do with it? So um, now that we created the authorization scheme, we should add it in the application definition attributes. Go to security. And I think this is a really underutilized thing, the application level authorization. Exactly, and, I agree. And I, I, I generally name it exactly this, application off that. It's super clear application authorization that's what it's used for yes and because we usually use the authorization schemes uh, to uh, allow users to see certain regions components but we never think of it as an authorization scheme of the whole application that's right that's right and and i think you're right we, exactly it just like you said so i want to apply that change i'm going to come back in now when i uh if i log in as anton at inielsen.net it works great if i do the other one uh, if I log in as Anton at conceptcompletion.com, uh, here we go. It's 
all set. Now, obviously this won't show for end users. It's only because I'm in the builder. They will just get this right here. Yes, that's the message that we get. And I actually think we can customize that message. And it is actually uh, stored as an uh, Apex Builder metadata. And I think we covered that already in a previous episode, the uh, episode 86. There it is, episode 86. So I'm going to say, I, I like where you're going with this. This right here, this isn't beautiful, right? This, this is easy to change. It's right part of the authorization scheme. This, not so easy to change. Um, but if you look at episode 86, it'll walk you through. The one thing I'll say is things have changed a little bit since that. This, this um, URL, which is published as part of that episode and in a blog post about this, will help you find the right way to do it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this message right here. We're going to put it in our search, which I've already done, as you can see, I, you might actually not ever think this, but we occasionally practice. Right here, we have this translatable message. All we have to do is jump in to our shared components again. We'll go to text messages, and we create a text message with that as the name. So there's the name. And like most of our messages, we ask people to contact Mishka with any questions, because that's if anybody else wants to do that, you can do that as well. Her email is michelle.scameni at, at or I'm sorry, mscameni uh, at insum.ca. Just send all questions to Mishka. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll apply that change. That is a key element to getting the message that you want to see. So there we have it. Contact Mishka with any questions. That's Excellent. <laughs> um, Marwa, if we didn't want to use an authorization scheme, what would the behavior be then? If we want to do this within, <laughs> within a, um, uh, within the authentication itself, then what do we do? I think I think you won't be able to see the page at all. The the login page, you will be redirected to the same uh, first pop up that you have with the Google sign in. Right. So let's do that. Let's show what that looks like. So we're going to go back to our. In this case, we're going to do it through the authentic authentication scheme instead of the authorization scheme. So if I return here and I come in and I, I want to have an additional thing, I want to add a verify function. And this verify function does the exact same thing right here to verify whether it's a, it, it returns whether or not it's here. We'll put that in our verify function. But you're exactly right. Before I click this, I'm going to log out um, uh, just so that we can uh, see things get confusing if we if we change, make these changes without this so um i'm going to go ahead and put this in apply changes i have 11 seconds to show what happens so now if i use an invalid one i get bounced right back here i don't even get a message to say what happened um oh marwa we came in right under the wire yes five minutes we're done that's it um so i guess we have to stop talking Completely? Um, <laughs> no, I, as you may as as you may recall, Hayden and I occasionally cheat a little bit, um, but uh, but that is the, that is the tip. Um, authentication versus authorization. One of my favorite topics. I can go on forever about this, um, as I'm sure you've experienced. Yes, of course, and it, it's it's very useful. It's a very useful tip for me as a developer, also. Excellent. Well, Marwa, I'm super excited to have you um, participate on uh, an ongoing basis. Uh, I didn't prepare anything, and I asked you to participate um, a matter of hours ago as a host. So um, maybe in the future, we'll actually have an off-topic tip, or um, you can provide some of your many words of wisdom, uh, which is one of the reasons I chose you uh, or, or chose I requested that you participate with me because I often get so many words of wisdom from you. Uh, so I'm looking Thank forward you. to it. Thank you, Anton. Next time, I promise it will be better. There will be wisdom. And yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure to me to be here. Oh, excellent. And I see we've got folks that use um, uh, similar kinds of things. Uh, in this case, uh, a region with a display condition that uses the same rule. Um, do I need to put offset on it as well? 
Let's see if we can answer this question. Um, I have a region and I put a display condition, which is same as the auth Z rule. Um, so I think in this case, you don't need to do both, but my feeling is I would do the auth Z rule instead of the display condition. Um, my, my general feeling is if you were trying to show a region or not show a region because of an authorization, it should be an offset. It should be the authorization scheme. If you're doing it because of something that changes throughout the session or something like that, then I use a display condition. How about you, Marwa? Do you do anything? What's your, your take on a region authorization scheme or, con or condition? I think both are valid. It depends on the application, the project, the business requirements of the customer. Sometimes we create tables to store the roles and each user, the groups of different users. And at that time we use authorization schemes most of the time to yeah. and apply those uh, authorization schemes on different components of uh, the application, like regions, buttons, directive reports, etc. cetera. So um, uh, if I put the auth Z on that region, we'll show, and then I'll get an error. If I put auth Z on that region, we'll show, and then I'll get the error. Uh, no, um, authorization schemes won't give you an error on a, on a region. On regions or pages or any component other than the application, uh, the, the authorization scheme will simply not show the region. You won't get the error message. Um, so I said, um, I actually like you, the I said, just as you were saying, Marwa, you can reuse it. You can reuse that I said exactly. the application. So uh, this is a great question, um, because it's funny that, um, uh, that, that, um, I, if, if they, if they try to read, uh, if they try to access a page, they'll get the error message, but if they try to access, when you say access a region, they, they don't, um, the page. Yeah. Mike, thank you, Mike. You caught me. Uh, page level gives an error Error too. level gives an error, but regions, buttons, processes, you know, any component that's embedded within a page, um, uh, um, will uh, will not show the error. So, Mike, thanks for catching me. Um, I think you actually got your. I think you got your comment in before I corrected myself. Very, very well done. Uh, um, so, uh, PP, great question. I think uh, I think the answer is just do the authorization scheme. I think it's the. I think that's the right answer. Um, all right. Um, well, thank you to. Uh, the I'm sure hundreds, Marwa. I told you there were going to be only three or four, but there are probably thousands of people watching today. Really? <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 my guess is ten thousand people probably just watched this. So don't be oh. nervous. Don't be nervous. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> All right. So for both of you that watch, it looks like we have Mike, PP, and in some, uh, oh, and G Gore as well. I, I count five people. So um, for all of those of us, those of you that watched, thanks so much uh, for, for coming today. Uh, do all the things you're supposed to do. Uh, like, subscribe, um, tell your mom about the show, send her a letter. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.